Hi, my name is Dave. Today we're going to look at a Comatron. It's a Celestron Comatron 60 millimeter spotting scope, probably from the 1980s or so. That's just a guess on my part, from the color mostly. A uh, very rare telescope. You don't see these around. Uh, and it's got some really interesting little tricks to it. You're going to enjoy this. Stay tuned. Let me show you a trick this telescope can do. This was apparently at one point rubberized, had a rubberized handle on it. You can loosen that up and now watch this. You can take this whole thing. You, you may not, well, you won't see it, but there's detents in there. There. And then you can lock it back down, although you don't really need to. It's tight enough that you don't have to. You can change this from a straight through all the way to a 90. And you might think that these would be convenient positions, but they're not, as you'll see. Anyway, this one is just fine. It looks exactly right, just like a right angle Amici prism. So, um, very interesting, isn't it? And here we have the Manon Model 600 tripod. Doesn't look like anything particularly special, but it's got some tricks going on here. Wait till you see what this will do. Okay, watch what this tripod will do. Okay, uh, now there's one other trick this tripod will do that is very interesting. If you loosen this up, you can check this out. You can rotate it. So, lock it down. Well, if you think about it, that now gives you essentially an equatorial mount of sorts. I mean, it's not perfect, but it would certainly do for a little telescope. Let's put the Celestron on and see how it looks. Okay, now I think already you can determine that there is going to be a little bit of a limitation to this. If you wanted to look <laughs> up way up there, you could get into a very awkward position. The eyepiece could get into a strange position. But by the same token, normally uh, you'd be using a little scope like this to probably look at things near the ecliptic, probably uh, planets or the moon, something like that. And if you have it set up like that, it would be about like that. The ecliptic would be around over here. So you'd be able to look at things on the ecliptic and have the eyepiece still be in a very comfortable position. <laughs> Pretty snazzy, huh? And of course, uh, eh, for terrestrial viewing, you're probably going to convert it over like this. something like that. So now you have more of a traditional spotting scope. This thing does pretty well for how lightweight it is. This would probably be uh, a little bit shaky, but not bad. I mean, this is only 25 power. It'd be probably just fine for you. Something very light, compact, easy to carry around. Nifty little package, huh? Let me show you what it looks like if you do some funky angle. This thing has a couple of detents. Here's one here. But if I'm looking like that, my correct image is... <laughs> uh, I think I got a kink in my neck. My correct <laughs> right side up image is that way. It's it's a little bit uh, now if you go like that, the correct image is over here. 
you know, it's awkward. <laughs> it's no wonder they didn't sell too many of these. Of course, I don't think most people would have even known you could do this with the scope. Rotate it like that. It's cute. I hope you've enjoyed looking at the interesting, fascinating Celestron Cometron 60mm telescope from about the 1980s. Thank you for watching.